What is up, guys? It's Big Fun Fan ninety seven. Welcome to our new series, um, a little new schedule that I made. So the new schedule goes as follows: so Monday will be Minecraft Mondays. Sorry, I couldn't upload a video yesterday, but I will for sure upload one today, so it can be up tomorrow. I know it's a little weird, but so uh, yeah. So Minecraft Mondays is on Mondays. On Tuesdays is Tutorial Tuesdays, which is uh, the one you're going to be watching right now uh, on Compressor. And uh, Wednesdays will be whatever Wednesdays. Kind of makes sense, you know? You know, get what I guess you guys get what I'm doing? So, uh, yeah, whatever Wednesdays is whatever videos I post. So it's kind of random. Uh, Thursdays will be Tutorial Thursdays. And Friday will be no videos, unfortunately. It will be a free Friday. Free day kind of, I don't know, and Saturdays, so Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'm, uh, I don't upload videos, so I will really, really try my hardest to upload guy videos, guys, throughout Monday and, thir and Thursday, through Thursday, so yeah, um, to, uh, if you guys liked, if you guys like that schedule, don't, for, don't hesitate to leave a like, and that will support my videos, so when you open up Compressor, uh, basically, I'm going to show you guys how to export the best settings for YouTube upload HD, so when you open up Compressor, uh, Compressor is a $50 program from Apple, uh, you can download it from the Mac App Store if you wanted, uh, it's $50, it's separate, uh, it's kind of like an export uh, program, so when you first open it, it's going to give you in a uh, window, uh, letting, letting you choose a template that's already been made, we're going to cancel, and we're going to uh, use our own, so we're going to click this uh, plus button right there and go to the very bottom. Select Quick Time Movie. This will be the best one. Uh, so go ahead and uh, give it a name. Uh, I'm going to name it uh, 720, 720p HD. And right here where it says Video, click Settings. Uh, where it says Compression Type, go, to, go down to H.264. The frame rate should be at Current. You can go, if you want current, leave it at current, or you can go to 29.97, whatever you prefer. Keyframes, uh, automatic. Data rate, automatic. Frame reordering, you can uncheck it. doesn't really matter if you have it checked or not, but it's better if you have it unchecked. Uh, quality, depends how long the video is. Uh, if the video is about 10 to 15 minutes, I would probably drop it just a, just a hair above medium. And if your video is going to be like mine, about, what, 4 minutes, 5 minutes, Try to keep it at a uh, high. That would be good. Encoding, you could do it at best quality or faster encode if you want a faster X code. I do at faster encode. But for this tutorial, since it's going to be short, I'm going to go with best quality. Click OK. Then in the audio, click settings. Format should be AAC or AAC. Channels, stereo left and right. R uh, the rate, you can drop it to 44.1 or 48. I tend to leave it at uh, 44.1. The quality, just keep it at normal, again, depending how long your video is. If you want a faster uh, export, you just leave it at normal, you know, 10 to 15 minutes. If you want a, a video like mine, keep it at better or at best, so I'm going to keep it at normal. The target bit rate, you can leave it at uh, in between 96 to uh, 256. 320 is an overkill, so I think 128 is good. Just click OK. Then you want to go into the very to the uh, second to the last tab. It should be named Geometry. Go into the bottom where it says frame frame size, <laughs> and click this right here. Uh, you can go to 1280 by 720 for a 720p HD video, or a 1920 by 1080, which is nine or er, which is 1080p HD. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go with 1280 by 720. Uh, pixel aspect doesn't really matter. Make sure it's default for size. Crop to just leave it normal. You can crop it as if you want, and then click save. Now, once it's saved, it's saved in your preset drawer right here with all your other presets if you made some. Then you want to import your video, so go to the very top left and click Add File. Then you want to um, go to the location where your video is. In this case, I'm going to be using this one. Uh, it's only 42 megabytes, so it's going to be about the same. This is this basically makes it better for YouTube. So it's it's I don't know, it's just better to do it this way. If you don't have, because in Final Cut Pro 10, you don't have these export settings. So that's why it's better to use Compressor when you're exporting with Final Cut Pro 10. If you don't have the program, that's okay. You can just use Final Cut Pro 10. But if you're willing to pay the $50, and go ahead. So um, once you've done with this, uh, you want to drag your preset onto the blue box. Then you can go ahead and rename it. I'm going to name it Test uh, Video. Uh, okay. Then you'll click Submit. 
and then name doesn't really matter just click uh, cluster should be this computer Pre uh, pr priority should be high and click submit then it will start to export your video and it will be wherever you saved it in this case mine's in desktop so uh, what is this target will overwrite uh, I think I named it the same that's why it's going to overwrite it but that's okay uh, just ignore it I don't know why it's keep giving me a window but uh, that will allow you to export your best uh, settings for compressor. Um, oh, it's just allowing the app. So let me click OK. Allow. OK, I clicked Allow. Uh, but this will be the best export settings for compressor. I don't know why that window keeps popping up, but it's very annoying. Um, but it will take some time, uh, depending how long the video is. And if you found this video helpful in any way, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and I'll see you guys in my next episode video. Whatever you guys call it. <laughs> Peace.